What's that? Yeah, I was going to say good evening, ladies and gentlemen, but good evening, late, empty room. Um, let's call the meeting to order for the Merrimack Planning Board for, um, let's see, what is today? Tuesday, March 21st. Um, let's see, there's nobody that's going to address us tonight, so I don't have to give the reminders about the microphone. Our next meeting after tonight is April 4th, 2023. Um, because all of the agenda, all of the items on our agenda, the applicants have requested continuance. Our staff is not here with us tonight, so we don't need to do a planning and zoning administrator's report. Um, if you have any questions for staff, send them an email. Um, let's cover that part of our agenda. There are no items on our consent agenda. Um, we can let me read through the items on the agenda and we'll, we'll uh, take up the question of their continuance uh, one at a time. Item four is start in Realty LLC as the applicant and owner. Continued review for acceptance and consideration of final approval for a site plan for the addition of a gas station, convenience store, and drive through coffee shop at the site of an existing car wash. The parcel is located at 376 DW Highway in the C2 General Commercial Aquifer Conservation and Elderly Housing Overlay Districts, Tax Map 4D3, Lot 2, Case Planning Board 2022 40. It's continued from our November 15th and December 20th, 2022 meetings, January 17th and February 21st, 2023 meetings, and the applicant has requested a continuance to the April 18th meeting. Our staff recommends that we grant that continuance. What's the will of the board? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstaining? We are 700 with Nelson in for a voting position for Neil. Have we been voted in? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, so you're an alternate too. So you're going to be in for um, Neil for him. Uh, Nelson for Neil. What's that? Oh, Paul. Paul's position. Okay. So, yeah, I forgot which Beatles we're missing. It's Neil and Paul and Ringo. Um, okay. So that was 700 for Start and Realty to continue them to April 18th. Uh, item five on the agenda is S.J. Torres is the applicant and Oren H. Connell Family Trust uh, uh, as the owner. Continued okay. review for consideration of a waiver of full site plan review to permit a variety of temporary event uses on site. The parcel is located at 454 Daniel Webster Highway in the C2 General Commercial Aquifer Conservation Elderly Housing and Town Center Overlay Districts. It's tax map 5D4, lot 54. It's Case Planning Board 2022-46. It's continued from our December 6th and 20th, 2022 meetings, our January 17th and February 21st, 2023 meetings. The applicant has requested a continuance to the April 4th meeting, and our staff recommends that we grant that continuance. Also moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstaining? 7-0-0. Item six on the agenda is McDonald's USA LLC as the applicant and CP Merrimack LLC as the owner. Continued review for consideration of a waiver of full site plan review to reconfigure the existing single order point drive through with a dual order point configuration. The parcels located at 9 Dobson Way in the C2 General Commercial and Aquifer Conservation Districts and Wellhead Protection Area. Tax Map 4D, Lot 54-3, Case Planning Board 2022-47. It is continued from the December 6th, 2022 and January 17th and February 21st, 2023 Planning Board meetings, and the applicant has requested a continuance to the April 4th meeting. Our staff recommends that continuance. What's the will of the board? So moved. Is there a second? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstaining? 7-0-0. Item 7 on our agenda is Mast Road LLC as the applicant and owner. Continued review for consideration of a waiver of full site plan review to permit a contractor's yard. The parcel is located at Crow's Nest Circle, Tax Map 2D, Lot 21-2, Case Planning Board 2023-9. The item is continued from the March 7th, 2023 Planning Board meeting. The applicant has requested a continuance to the April 4th, 2023 meeting. Our staff recommends that continuance. What's the will of the board? So moved. Is there a second? All in favor say aye. Aye. 
Any opposed? Any abstaining? Seven zero zero. Uh, that brings us to item eight on our agenda, which is discussion and possible action regarding other items of concern. Uh, there's nobody to address those two, uh, but if anybody has any that they want to discuss among board members, now's your time. See you next. See you next month. Um, the approval of the minutes of March seventh, twenty twenty three, is on our agenda. What's the will of the board? Motion by Lynn to approve as distributed. Is there a second? I'll second. Second by Jamie? Or soft voice. I'm not sure your microphone was on either. Nelson, you had a... I have a couple a... of questions or <laughs> okay. slight corrections, small corrections. On page, <clears throat> page two, line seven. Um, this project, the plan was originally conditionally approved in late... 2020. I don't think that's correct. I think it was late 2022 when we first saw that plan. Which one? Uh, which uh, application is that? Uh, let me see page here. Two. This, huh? You said page two. It's on page two, line seven. What's it start with? Originally conditionally approved in late 2002, 2020. I don't know which project we're talking about. I'm on the wrong page. You're on the wrong minute. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like the assisted living facility. Yeah. yeah, it was the assisted living facility. It it doesn't go back to 2020. No, it doesn't. Yeah, it does. It's 20. It's 2022. <laughs> oh no, it's been years that that thing has been an assisted living facility. I mean, at, at least on the on the plate for one. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Been on there for a while. They they did nothing for. Yeah. Was it the same project? Yeah. yeah. Um, with the little tweaks here and there, but yeah. Well, then my apologies on that one. Let's go to page 10. Um, page 10, line 1. Reclaimed concrete as hazardous material unless it is painted oh. rather than uncle's is painted. Line one. Yep, little typo there. Okay. And uh, page 12. Page 12. Line 50. Um, yeah, um, <clears throat> I noticed this in several places, and I guess we really need the staff here for uh, verification. The last line in that thing says that winter maintenance shall be performed by a green snow, plow, snow pro certified or functional equivalent certification contractor. Now, my understanding of the snowplow certification is is granted by the state. It requires the applicators of the material to go through a course at the state. I don't know what a functional equivalent of that is. And so I'd like some explanation from the staff. It's several places in here. Yep. I think that the statute itself doesn't speak to the words green snow pro or that particular uh, program, which is a UNH program, but it talks about, uh, I forget the language in the statute. We can look yeah. it up if you'd yeah. like, but it's slightly different and it. The statute leaves open the opportunity for there to be something other than green snow pro, um, I think. Mm -hmm. Barbara wants to speak. Yeah. Barbara? Uh, agreed. Uh, it allows for new technology that might come out other than green, you know, the snow, um, the green snow. So uh, I think that's why you have that extra wording in there. It doesn't tie them just down to that one product, but you're correct. In order to be able to actually lay that particular product down, there are classes you have to go to. Yeah. There's even certain equipment that you have to get. Yep. And then, of course, when you're talking brine, that's a whole different animal as well. So oh, yeah. it just has to I, – I, it's just the difference in the technology and allows for new technology in the future as well. 
Okay. Yeah, that's right. Actually, I think Green Snow Pro is not a brine um, salting. No, it isn't. It's a process. No, it isn't. It's a whole process. It's, it's a low sodium, high potassium, I believe. Something like yeah. that. Yeah. Um, but that means that brining is potentially an example of a, yeah. of a technology that could be an alternative to yeah. Green Snow Pro. Um, okay, I really wanted um, um, Bob to explain it, but what they what they have in mind. Maybe we don't do any of them. Maybe it's just. Oh, I don't a, think that they have any in mind at all, except yeah. for the statute doesn't isn't isn't Green right. Snow Pro. So yeah. unless we want to bless one particular product, um, you've got to always allow for there to be alternatives. Um, what if UNH stopped offering the program? I thought I thought the state of New Hampshire did it. It was done by DES. Oh. DES worked with the UNH, but it's a UNH concept, I think. It was done, the teaching was done at DES. Could be. I'm sure of that. Could could be, I don't know. Um, let's see. Give me a minute and we'll look it up if we need to know that. Um, water management <clears throat> protection. Salt applicator certification option. Um, let's see, commercial applicator commission department, salt, salt alternative. Commercial applicators may elect to become certified by the department. Applicators, applicator certificates shall be issued by the department and may be renewed <clears throat> annually. Any business that employs multiple commercial applicators may obtain a master certificate for the owner. Etc. So it is talking about the department doing a thing. Um, municipal winter maintenance certification program option. Any governmental unit that has a municipal winter maintenance program may elect to have the program certified by the department. And then there's other options available. So the statute <laughs> itself is what lays out choices other than Green Snow Pro, but none of them actually, the words Green Snow Pro don't appear anywhere Just certification. in the statute. <laughs> There's several options for how it can occur. It's RSA 489C, if you're interested yeah, in taking I'll a peek at up. that. Yeah. 49C? 489C. 489. 489. 489. Yep. Okay. Okay, I'll look into it. Cool. I okay. Mean, I mean to delay this no, no meeting. <laughs> yeah, we got to 11 or something like that before we actually get a late meeting going. Um, okay. Um, so that covers our minutes. We didn't vote on them yet. Uh, all in favor of adopting the minutes with the one typo correction? Signify by saying aye. 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 Any opposed? Any abstaining? Aye. Two abstentions. Um, and um, that's 502 to adopt the minutes. Um, motion to adjourn. So moved. Is there a second? I'll second. All in favor say aye. Aye. Any opposed? Any abstaining? All right. We're out of here. All done. You bring a sweatshirt? Looks like I got to sign a lot line adjustment. So we can adjourn to. Over there. Because John brought his sweatshirt. Yeah, you need a little dragon? What if you need a sweatshirt? 15 minutes? That's probably about the fastest. It's been a long time since we've had one.